Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. My name is Vito. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And today I uh, have this amazing 1981 Mercedes 240D with a four speed manual transmission. Today we're going to be driving around, just enjoying. Uh, it's time to take some time off of uh, all the work and repairs that I'm doing and that I usually do. So I uh, hope you enjoy my channel. Check out my playlist, check out my other videos I post every week. Uh, there's lots of content coming up, so thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for everything, and thanks for all you do on your comments and likes. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Um, and yeah, today, as you can see, I cleaned this thing up a little bit here. Uh, I put back this uh, bumper strip because it was coming out, and just cleaned these uh, skirts right there. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to go ahead and uh, test drive this car. Um, you know, um, I haven't driven this car in a while. You know, I've just been working on cars so much. So my buddy was driving this car. So today it's time for me to go ahead and enjoy this car. So let's go ahead, check this car out. D, I miss driving you. Oh my gosh, W123. Woohoo! It's kind of hard driving manual and recording at the same time. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's difficult. Oh, it feels
feels amazing driving a manual. Wow. Woohoo! 240D. W123. I love this car. driving this car guys it's kind of difficult to drive manual and talk at the same time because I'm like paying attention so I'm sorry about that but uh, I just love this car so much no matter no matter what I mean like this car is in pretty bad shape but I still love this car so much guys I'm gonna tell you right away amazing machine uh, I really wish they could make these cars even today but they you know unfortunately I love this car so much it's amazing look at these amazing views and this car is so amazing I mean it has rusted out floors and it's it's still driving guys I mean it's amazing I mean show me a car that will last for 40 years and in a shape like this this car is so forgiving I mean I, I'm just amazed uh, on this car I mean so amazing Let's go on the main street guys, we'll see how many likes we get from other people for this amazing W123. Feels great driving this car, just love this car so much such an amazing car if I didn't grab this car this car would have been in a junket already a long time ago but I grabbed this baby because I love this car so much and I just love classic Mercedes in general I love saving them and hopefully you guys are the same way hopefully you guys save classic Mercedes don't forget about that no matter what shape it's in give it give it time you will be able to fix that car up don't give up on classic Mercedes getting less and less of these cars available okay don't forget about that it feels so amazing driving this driving this car like I mean I love this car so much oh man it's getting dark by the way but uh, yeah like I said guys it's kind of hard to <laughs> drive a manual car and film at the same time so I apologize for that but uh, I mean tonight I had a really big dosage of uh, of this 240d with a manual trans it feels amazing guys Okay, feels great.
Look at this beautiful sunset, guys. An amazing W123 Mercedes that I had fun today driving around. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful front end. Fog lamps, everything. Bumper is all intact. Oh, that's awesome. I had so much fun driving this baby around, guys. It was amazing. And then we have this beautiful sunset here and water um, and a W123. <laughs> it feels great, guys. Um, let me know your opinions, guys. Guys, let me know if you do the same thing. If you take your classic Mercedes or other classic car and if you drive around and if you enjoy it if you enjoy it that means it's good you're a, you are an enthusiast and you found yourself where you should have found yourself among these cars so i really wish i had a helper who would help me work on this baby and you know bring it back to shape but as of right now it's pretty hard for me it's pretty difficult for me because i'm working on a 190e on my dad's 300d and working a lot of other things and w126 and i'm trying to live my own life and film videos for you guys and edit and it's just everything takes a long time and just not enough time in a day i wish uh day lasted you know 48 hours instead of 24 that would have been so much easier you know but uh yeah like i said if not me this car would have been in the junkyard you know and here i am one year later i still have this car and it feels great i'm gonna try to hit up uh previous owner of this car and uh tell him hey man look you should have not given up on this classic mercedes and i still have it because he was the one who was about to actually throw it away to the junkyard so it's a pretty sad story guys uh and you have to think it's 2020 these cars are 40 years old and they do need work uh, and they deserve work uh, they deserve love and care that you must give them um you know you can't just uh, drive these cars you have to give them love uh and yeah like i said uh please if you have one of these cars if you got bored of it please don't throw it away it's we're getting less and less of these cars available you know i'm getting really sad uh whenever people tell me uh that you know they're scrapped the car or whenever i see a scrap a classic mercedes somewhere we're throwing away uh it kind of breaks my heart you know uh, because i've been with these cars pretty much forever and i love these cars and i can't I can't we can't let anything like this happen again or anymore you know uh, we need to save these cars no matter what on uh, this car particular one yeah needs work it needs floors welded needs a bunch of other things but the main goal is don't give up yes there's a lot of work on the car but you can do it be a hero save a w123 save a classic mercedes you know don't be like your average one of those guys you know oh yeah let me try one of these cars let me buy it and oh i don't like this car anymore let me like throw it away nobody wants it i'm gonna junk it no don't do that don't be that average kid who does that yeah okay so this car has seen of course has seen better days but um uh, you know i'm 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 holding on to this car. I'm not letting it, you know, just go somewhere. Because if I if I sell this car right now, uh, somebody will part it out, and I don't want that. I hate when people part out cars, especially these cars. Hell no. Okay, uh, you're not gonna part out my cherry pie. Um, and especially what I hate is I'm gonna be honest with you. Especially what I hate is when people uh, grab these cars, they part out, they just grab a couple of pieces off of their car, and that's it. They send the rest of the uh, body with whatever wheels to the junkyard. I really hate that. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Uh, I've been so tired. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails and texts from people. Hey, you want all of these parts or you don't want, if you don't want them, you have two weeks or I'm going to scrap the car. Uh, you know, I took whatever I needed and the rest you can be yours if you want it. And if not, in two weeks, I'm going to scrap the car. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, don't upset me. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big heart hearted person when it comes to these cars. Uh, if you need help, you can always message me and I'll help you out with whatever things you need or advices. But we cannot let this hap happen again. We have to save these cars, guys. Okay. Anyways, um, it was this video was supposed to be just for like a you know a drive, a nice drive in a 240D, and I started talking about all this stuff. But uh, it was just on my mind. Uh, I wanted to uh, let you guys know. Okay. Um, yeah, love your classic Mercedes. Uh, in five years. There's gonna be barely, uh, there's gonna be, you know, not so many of these cars left. And uh, guess what? You will be looking for a cheap W123 and you won't find any. That's why you must save classic Mercedes. Uh, nobody makes such great cars, cars anymore. Um, the cars that they make nowadays, they, only, they will only last for about seven years. Uh, brand new Mercedes that they have and they produce nowadays, they're only good for like seven years and after that they're not gonna survive they're not gonna survive and beat these classic mercedes uh new mercedes and teslas sorry if you're a tesla guy uh these these new cars they will not over outcome these cars um new cars they will not survive i'm telling you right now and uh after 20 years these cars are still gonna be alive okay so yeah so it's it all depends on your mindset and your mind uh, put your mindset the way that you think about the future and that uh, aren't you happy seeing these cars on the road when you drive around you see another w123 or w116 or w124 on the road aren't you happy well guess what if you keep scrapping these cars if you keep hating these cars or parting them out or saying that all oh, floors are rusted this car is gone no don't be that guy okay don't be that guy please okay can find a lot of info online and people in Africa how much they love these cars and Europe they will put all their soul into these cars and you know if you are saying that oh this car is not worth this much money or I'm gonna spend too much more money on restoration then guess what you should be driving Toyota Corolla for life okay you're not gonna you're not gonna have your money or you, when you die, you're not going to take your money uh, with you uh, to the coffin. So just remember that. Okay. So if I have, let's say if I had a million dollars right now and, uh, you know, I would not be able to take it with me once I die. You know, I can't. So enjoy your life. Enjoy your classic Mercedes. Give your classic Mercedes all the love. Okay. And I'll respect you with all 100%. And thank you so much for watching this video. Um, subscribe to more subscribe for more sorry can't speak today and uh comment down below like the video share with friends i'll see you in the next one guys okay